This is what my people should do and rise up and stop killing each other. Tell me if I'm lying. My people. My people, my people. Most of, of the, the Western black men bow down to this icon you call Jesus. He don't kill the white man. And you cannot say anything to them, they will rebel. But in the past, no reason, no reason. you did not see that icon in Africa. No reason, no reason at all. No reason at all. But Elasi came in power, and Empress Elasi had this icon in his house, My or in his palace. What is amazing? Empress Elasi is from the line of David. Why would he have this in his house? In his palace. Why would he have this icon in his palace? The black man. I'm amazed. Who he killed? Black babies. Because he's from the line of David. Black girls. It's just a big shame. This icon on is not from the line of David. The black man. Black I could see he have this in his palace and it would not be bad. He killed. Black woman. Or I could see he have this in his palace. And it would not be bad black man, a black woman. because these are the original icon of our people black man, and, stop. and that would not be bad Kill the black man, black babies. Preachers. but we get caught up so much black man, stop killing, stop. that we don't know if we're going or coming black man, black right now Black man doesn't know if he's going or coming. So oh, my question to the woolly man, what are we going to do? Black man, what are we going to do? That is my question to my black man. Are we going to See if we can get our artifacts back from the white people. Because they have them scattered all over the world. These are the artifacts that they have scattered all over the world. Are we going to try to get them back? That is my question to the woolly man. Are we going to try to get our artifacts back from these people? Because all we are doing is really talking and we are not making any effort. Like Marcos Garvey, make an effort. And he was trying to repatriate that the woolly man that the white man brought here. And some of the woolly people rebelled. They didn't want to go back. Because they liked the ways of the white man doing. They didn't want to go back. Yes, they didn't want to go back. And the few that went back, they went to Sierra Leone and Liberia. And they kind of maybe disappointed that they went there. Because the American government told Marcos, hey, hold here, man, you can just take that piece of bacon land. And they also brutalized Marcos Garvey. They lock him up in England, lock him up in the United States. And his people, the same people rebel against him. Our people, the woolly people. So it's kind of, what are you going to do with these woolly people? Are you going to let them sit back until they redeem themselves and do not say nothing? They just all get together and redeem themselves. Nobody speak for them. Nobody speak for them. 
But all of a sudden, they just get together and redeem themselves. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be amazing? It would be amazing to see that take place. But with the white man let that take place. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because the white man have his foot every place in Africa. Every place in Africa he have his foot. And the leaders there are not saying anything, are not doing anything. And the white man is getting ready to do something pertaining to Africa, the part you call the Middle East. Why leaders of the Middle East is coming to this country to have conversation pertaining to Africa with the United States? What type of nonsense is that? They're coming here to complete the plan that what they have in mind. Something is going to take place. Something is going to give loose. So the people that they call Israeli are coming here to speak with the President of the United States. Pertaining to Iran. Pertaining to Lebanon and Palestine, three places. And the person that is coming here is not an African. Hello? So something is going to give way. And also, in Afghanistan, this American is not going to leave when the time comes. They're supposed to leave by the hand of the man. They're going to cause some problem. So the Taliban can react and they have to remain there to fight the Taliban. They have to something because they feel embarrassed. Black Taliban just overthrow them for 20 years. They can't just walk away like that. Just a big, big shame. Are you following me? Black man. They don't want to walk away like that. They feel bad. So they're going to do something towards what the Taliban is doing. That's what's going to take place. And the Taliban do not have any airplane. Don't have any ship. But imagine. I say give up on those guys. And they ain't got no ship. They ain't got no plane. They ain't got no tankers. They ain't got no drones. So you see, you can fight good for a long time, but you will never overpower good completely because that is in the laws of nature. To dam the river, you cannot dam it for forever because you're doing something wrong. It's going to spread itself, it's going to break apart and continue to flow. And damn the ocean. Because it's going to do what it got to do. Because this is in nature. And it do what nature permits it to do. You want to say God or whatever. No, the word God is a German name, a German word. I don't want to go into that. I leave that for all the people that believe in, into the white man Jesus. 
Food I believe into the white man Jesus here. Go ahead with that. I'm not in that. See what I'm saying? Because most of our people believe in that. I'm not in the white man Jesus. Just talking natural so you can understand. Once you can understand, you is on the right part. Yes. So what I'm saying, something gonna give way. And the American government feel bad about the Taliban overpower them. Yes. As the Israeli president is coming to this country to speak with the president of this country. I do not understand. They are invaders. I mean, invaders are coming. Also, the American government is invaders. But they completely kill the people that were here. So, the remainder, I have nothing to say. There's a few. And few have nothing to say. The majority do the same. So the invaders are coming to be the majority in the land of Kenya. And they are trying to destroy the people that is there. Completely. They block them. They can't go from one place to another. Food cannot go in. Food cannot come out. Water cannot flow. They block the water, they block the river, or they block the dam. The water is not going there. The people cannot build their house. They knock their houses down and say it's illegal building. How the hell you have a shelter and you say it's illegal? That's my shelter. The shelter cannot be illegal. So if you have a cave, it's going to be illegal too. And that's what these white people are doing. The time is coming for these white people. The time is coming. And they know the time is coming for them too. And, and the original man will get back everything that belongs to him. Yes. The original man is going to get back everything that has that belongs to him. And he will he will not have any fear when he get it back. And he's not going to be jumping up and down when he get it back. He's just going to say it's mine. He was took away from me a long time ago. All the land, all the gold, all the diamonds, and all these artifacts. They're all coming back to the black man. And he's not going to be jumping up. And the people that took it away from him is going to be wonder away. They're going to be wonder world. Trying to find place to occupy. Take my word for it. It's going to be. Them jet planes, we don't need them. We don't need them jet planes. Maybe we're going to take all the ships. But them jet planes and them drones and them helicopters, we're not going to need them because we're not going to fight no war. We're not no fighters, huh? What do you mean you're not a fighter? Oh, you're not that type of people. So that's why all these brutality take place with your people. Because you're not no fighter. You're not going to fight a white man. You're scared of fighting him. And you don't have nothing to fight him with. So by you don't have nothing to fight him with, you just relax yourself. But all I want to 
want my people to do is get the land back from the white man. Or we got to gather up our people and let our people repatriate back to Africa. And I don't think that's going to happen. Some want to go and some don't want to go. Especially, especially the American black man. He don't want to go to Africa. Yet he's not no African. You see how dumb he becomes? He is the woolly man. And he said he's not from there. He's not black. Where are you getting all this shit from? That's what I want to know. Where are all these black men is getting all this stuff from to say he's not no black man. He's not African. He's a different type of man. Can you imagine that? I, I do not understand. If the Jamaicans are said they're not black people, and those who want to go back to Ethiopia, we're not saying we're Ethiopian. We're saying that we are the original black man, and the original black man belongs to the planet, and all the planet belongs to him. Not South, East, and West, just not Ethiopia. But if you choose to go to Ethiopia, it's okay. If you choose to go to the Congo, you choose to go to Nigeria, because all of that is the black man land, the woolly man land. Also, the things you call the United States, the Americas, the Americas belongs to the woolly man. Africa belongs to the woolly man, as you call it. But you don't want to go back, so what's going to happen? You're not going to find your rightful place. And you can't find your right, rightful place because you're fighting amongst each other. Telling this one is no good, telling this one is no good. In the meantime, you're doing wrong stuff to your people. If you're molesting your people, you're doing wrong stuff to your people. If you're talking bad amongst your people, you're doing wrong to your people. Huh? Your people is the original, the woolly man. Not the Chinese. Not the Indian. Not the slimy, the Uncle Saxton and the Limey. They're not the original. They came after me. And for those of you that is kissing up with them and figure they are look, I heard black men saying the white men is the first. Because white men is saying they are the first people. And the black men is going along with it. I saw them preach and Pick people out of the audience and say, hey, look. Look at this man. He's black. Look at this man. He's white. Look at this man. He's Chinese. And they pick a albino out and say, look. He's a black man, but he's a albino. Dummy, you do not understand. He still got the wool. And he mix up with corruption from the womb of the mother. And that's why he come out albino. The father was filthy and also the mother was filthy. Because the woman was in the essence of flow. But the father could not wait. So they get together and have sexual intercourse. And bring out that albino. He came from the germs of the woman. Or the germs of the serpent. Or the poison of the serpent. That's why he came out like that. But he came out with the wool. But the wool came out brown instead of black. So it lost the pigment. Or the poison burned the pigment away from the womb of the mother. The mother is black and the father is black. But is the poison from the serpent caused 
that child to lose the pigment because it get into the womb and burn everything up so don't get overstanding so you can overstand everything in nature the woman and the serpent doesn't get along the woman and the moon doesn't get along there's a barrier between the woman, the serpent, and the moon. You got to get overstanding. The farmers have to plant the grains by the moon, not by the sun. So once you get that overstanding, you're going to overstand all things in nature. That's why these guys were so witty and smart. They build all these stuff. They're not no how to cut on a knock it from the hell, amen. These are human being figures that they try to put masquerade onto them. And to try to get the power from the masquerade. Or from the dog or from the tiger or from the lion. So when this man pick out all these people from the audience and say they all the same, I do not understand what he said. All the men on the planet is not the same. The white man is different from the Chinese. The Chinese is different from the Indian. And the woolly man is different from all of them. Don't do nonsense this. The tiger and the lion is two different things. The chicken and the duck is two different things. The cow and the mule is two different animals. Oh, don't talk nonsense. As I said, peace, I'm out of here.